Hi, today we're working on my 88 Corvette convertible. We're going to be doing a water pump with it. I'm having uh, help from my buddy Tommy from Arrow Muffler uh, in uh, Turnersville, New Jersey. Uh, we're at, actually at his house. His house shop is probably better than most people's mechanic shops. So uh, we'll give you a little bit of a rundown through it. I'm going to give Tommy the lead on this one because I don't really know how to do it. So uh, we're going to watch and learn with us. Thanks. Come on. All right, we just took out the mass air sensor air in, the, in the air tube. That's Tommy over there. <laughs> Hold this on Tommy. Okay, I'll hold it. On the engine, I to Tommy does not want to be on film. Okay, I need we're, my camera. We're, we're doing this to Tommy beyond his free will. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at that motor smoke. It's not smoke, it's steam. Steam, smoke, whatever. Well, it's because oh, it looks the same. <laughs> it's from the Annie. Anyway. I know what it's from. Okay. The car is at like 190. Well, the temp was 190 when we pulled in three minutes ago. Yeah, three minutes ago. Let's see if I can get a shot under the car. There. Yep, there you go. There's some many trees on the floor. Stop doing that on the floor. It's nothing, nothing to do with it. We just let go of the hose. No, I'm kidding. We're installing an AC Delco professional water pump. Hit the ground. I'll try not to hit the ground too much. Where are you off here? I'm sure my neighbors wouldn't stand for the uh, national anthem at a football game either. That's their uh, real winner. I had a couple customers like that today. Yeah, it's never good. Oh, that is heavy. That's got to be a talent down for some time. Okay. And it's hot. <laughs> and it's hot. And it's hot. Hot and heavy? Hot and heavy. Good. That is really hot. Careful, it's like hot, hot. Yeah, that's that's like a pretty much like a hot plate. Yeah. It looks like a plate. I don't even want to like let the car cool down or anything. No, that might have been a wise decision. But that that, that would have been with, really wise. I had to work with like hot antifreeze and everything else. Tommy didn't want to go to dinner first. <laughs> Probably would have been a smart idea. <laughs> so we're going to pull the belt off next. And it does look like we have to yank this garbage off somewhere over there. But we, but we don't have to de uh, take the I was gonna say take the uh, antifreeze out of it, do we? Or the freon? Uh, I sure hope not. But if we do, it's not the end of the world. Increase? No, not really. Or is that coming off of the water pump? It's coming out of the water pump. Yeah. Okay, so that we're just going to let it sit there so we don't have to try to get it around the crank pulley later. Okay. Because that will suck. Okay, you just pulled off the, the uh, front of the water pump pulley. So now the front of the water pump's there. I'm not sure exactly what we, we're going to have to take any of this stuff off or not. If we can sneak it around. All data calls for this to be a three and a half hour job. Yeah. See if that's the right size, Greg. 
That may be bigger. No? Good? No, it's all right, sir. All right, so pull lefty Lucy towards yourself. No kidding, really? <laughs> he didn't know if he knew. Tommy knew, I knew. Uh, He's busting my chops. Uh, your end, so you can just do oh, this. It. Okay. And that'll take the tensioner off, so just take the tensioner off, set it on the bench. I bought a vet, you had to get a vet. I had the vet first. Who was born first? I had a vet before you because you weren't even born before then. Wow, confessing your age. I am confessing, well, I'm like 20 years older than Tommy, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not saying much. Tommy's only 35, he just looks old. I have had a rough oh, paper round. Damn. <laughs> Are you even, are you, you're only 35, right? Uh, I'm gonna be 40 next year. About 40? I'm 39. Okay. 10 years. I got so, 12 years on him. Okay, 12 years. Okay, he, you have about five years of when you got your first vet, Dad. 17. Yeah, I was 17 and Tommy was how old? Six, okay. five. So Tommy was five years old when I got my first vet. Okay. Yeah, he definitely had a vet before you. Oh, Oh, don't, don't push it too much more in. <laughs> Keep losing right. that one down. I think we can get that out. It's just by the air box. Maybe. No, this, will, this water pump will come out now. Okay. So, uh, I just need to get the right size sockets, that's all. Okay, okay so we're... Uh, what? You ready right for now? me now? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Um, we're at the point where we're removing the water pump bolts. The first one is the top one. We had to take that one out with a wrench. Tommy was able to get the bottom one with a socket, so he's getting that one. Yes, the car's still hot. Yes, we could cook another pizza on this. Is Melissa and all the pizzas here? She went to get two more. Oh. But I want this off before I eat. Why, it's a lot cleaner putting it back in? Is that what you're telling me? No, I just want it off. Hey, we still miss a lot of cobblers. We'll get them on the way out. Yep. Make sure to break some rubber. Be right outside the toilet. But yeah, honestly, ever since then, we've got along very well, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. I told him, you know, he was barking up the wrong tree with you. He's like, oh, you know, I heard a lot of bad things about him. I'm like, yeah, you heard wrong. So we, uh, we took all the water pump bolts out, and now it's time to snake this thing out of here. Officially snaked it out. That's what my wife tells me all the time. We're good. Yeah. Right. Well, now we'll put a new one in. You gotta clean where you. Okay, so now we got the water pump out, and we all just right, put the uh, just put some Permatex on to get the gaskets where they need to be, so they sit in place for us. Tommy's cleaning off the bolts. And then we'll be putting the water pump back on. book time and I'm you know haven't really done one of these too often so uh, you could really uh, make some good time if you really knew what you were doing on this job you know, Chevy Tech could really uh, really make this happen in an hour and a half if he wanted car that might live there. <laughs> That's how I get my tools, Tommy. <laughs> you only buy the best. It's only Snap-on left in my car. <laughs> Not a box 
still hot, though. I'm telling you, I'm still hot. Why are right. you holding the hottest spot on the motor? Well, I'm not. This is just the cover for the distributor. You want to do the other side first? Isn't it probably a little easier? No. Just to get it to hold? It started. You want to hold the pump? We gotta take this back out. There's something missing from this pump. What's missing from the pump? I don't know. I just saw something. Can't get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get in there. We're live in here. Right, can't get in there. So it's a 14, right? I think. Am I filming? Let me turn it in by hand, Tom. Nope. nope. Okay. Sure. Dad, I'm filming the right thing. Am I filming? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're trying to get this bolt right here, so... Yeah? This bolt. I can't see it. It's the camera that I'm okay. pretty going off for you there. Yeah, pretty close. No, I'm lit out the light. I can't really see it anymore. What you take it off with? That one? Yeah. Yeah. I've got the other two. Can you give me this roll one or no? No, oh, whatever. I know. Can you move my bolts back? Twist and I couldn't see it, right? Yeah. Did you loosen that last time? Or the bolts, the. You gotta move yeah, that clip. Yeah, it's not tight. No, but you gotta move uh, the clip. It's in your I way. gotcha. Because I guess when you spun it, it moved. <laughs> 